Hi everybody and welcome back to the workshop. So today's video and everything about today is all about painting the new bus. And I might repeat myself in the video a couple of times but I've never painted anything that big before. Nowhere near that. But it's been an interesting learning curve and if anybody wants to have a go at painting their van I would highly suggest giving it a try. If you've got the tools, no, don't worry. Don't need spray guns because Covey, my other van, was painted with a roller using the same paint, exactly the same company, just a different colour. Um, and the only difference in textures is the one on Covey is a matte finish, the one, new one we're painting now is a gloss finish. But it's exactly the same paint from exactly the same company and it's all military. Anyway, enough of me waffling for now, we're going to get straight into the video and me having a go at spraying this bus. So, I will see you when, I say not finished, um, but I'll see you at the end of the video. Right, so we're gonna start prepping the van to be painted. Now, as part of the prepping procedure for this van, I'm gonna be taking out the headlights. Um, I'm only gonna mask off the wing mirrors because there's sealant around this, which we're gonna put some more reseal it afterwards. Um, obviously, we need to mask up the rubbers on these doors. And there's loads and loads of stuff to be done. Um, most of the filling, has been done with the back door got tape back door sorry with this got to take these lights out um i'm gonna rust cure this uh i need to take that light out that light out and basically there's gonna be a lot of sanding i need to rust cure this I need to take this light off up here i'm gonna get a new one of these this one's already out do you know, I think I've lost the screws for that. That's not good. Right, so. I've got lots to get on with. And once I've done that, I'll take you, give you another tour around the bus so you can have a look. And then we're going to start prepping to paint. Anyway, I'll be back soon. So what have we done and how far have we got so far with the new bus? Well, the back of it is now stripped of lights and bits and pieces and yeah those ones hanging out now when these build these buses there is no connections to take them apart not even inside so we're just going to mask them up the ones up the top there that one there's four of them two at the front two at the back they are going to be got rid of they're horrid and replaced with better ones um these are going not me to get off. Taken out the lights, sanded down the back. I haven't done the back doors yet. So sand down the back, which you can see up the top there. Go around the side here, and all of this side panel down here has been sanded down. That. And that's where the indicator was. Oh, again, horrible thing. Both of them were different each side, so we're getting new indicators. Probably asking why that's all masked up over the bonnet, uh, over the engine, over the wings and everything. That's because we're going to be spraying this. Um, but before I can spray it, I've got to give it a coat of plastic primer. Now the plastic primer that I'm using is this stuff. It's an industrial mix plastic primer and it's one of those ready to use. I haven't got to do anything with it, just stick it in the gun and spray it. So shortly I'm going to be spraying that ready um, for when we spray the whole van. So yeah, even the bumper is going to be sprayed. And on most Iveco's, these panels all around the side here are all separate parts of the vehicle. Well on here, it's actually part of the body. They've just painted it a different colour. So the part of the fiberglass body. 
um, and they're made as part of the body to look like these ones on a normal Iveco but these do come off as you can see it's all looking very stripped very sanded very masked up just to let you know what I've done so far the bumper has been painted with plastic primer and so has and so has there's a plastic panel on the back um, this one here apart from the plastic bumper and that plastic panel panel below the rear doors there's also a plastic cowling that covers the air conditioner unit So they've all been coated with a plastic primer. That's a job that's done and out of the way. Um, literally everything has been masked up, including the wheels, the lights have been taken out. Um, so it's been wiped down as well. I've got to give it another panel wipe down. Once I've done that, I'm gonna be putting the first coat of primer on it. And that should give you a really good clue to what colour I'm going to be painting the van.
Right, so it's been a bit busy in here. Um, just so you can see, because I know the last time I had you on video, the roof was still white. There's no undercoat on it. Or no primer, should I say. But there you go. The whole bus has now been primed. It's five liters of primer been put on this, including the roof. I suppose you want to look at the roof now, don't you? One second, and I'll show you. And you can see the Unistrut roof rack. Hi everybody, well we're back on the bus today and <clears throat> after undercoating it and priming it we have to knock all the high spots off with 800 grip and a bit of water. I've made a start, I'll show you what we're doing. So literally when you're knocking the tops off of or knocking the high spots off of uh, the paint, always keep it very wet. And when you're sanding, you become accustomed to it and you know where the high spots are. And orange peeling, you'll feel it. And if you rub a microfiber coll off across the panel that's not been sanded, you'll see that it drags. So when we're drying off, we can tell which bits we've missed and which we haven't. It's a very long and laborious process, but it's something you've got to do. Because if you don't do it, don't prep the panel properly, the paint will look absolutely pants when it goes on. I'm not gonna say mine's look perfect, but it's gonna be better than it would if I didn't do this. So what I've done is I've wrapped the 800 grit paper around a sponge to make it easier to hold and to sand down with. But I want to get this done. I'm not going to video all of this because I don't want to bore you to death, but I wanted to explain the process, exactly what I'm doing. And we'll come back to you when we're painting or at least tack cloth in the panels down afterwards. And we'll see you in a little while.
Hiya, so now we've painted the bus once. Let's have a look down the side. So yeah, there's a couple of dodgy patches down here, like there. We have a dodgy spot up there, down here. So what you've got to remember is, when we're painting this bus, it's a working farm outside. Um, so we don't have exactly what we call a clean room or a clean booth or anything. This is undercover, yes. But there's all sorts of gaps around in and around this workshop. So it's had two coats of primer and the first coat of gloss. And to be honest with you, I'm quite happy with the finish so far. And that's just the first coat. So what I'm doing now is with a thousand grit and a spray bottle. He just, oops, he's knocking off the high spots from dust, animals, not animals, but bugs. And prepping it. For the next coat of paint. Um, just to let you know, this actually took five liters of paint to do one coat. Right, I need both hands to do this. The last thing I want, I don't think you want to see is me doing the whole bus. Another thing to remember when I paint this, so if you ever see this bus, I've only ever painted panels, small areas, and but I've never even sprayed a full car. But it's nothing like doing it and doing it big. What they say, go big or go own. Yeah, I don't think I could have picked a much bigger project to do my first paint job on. So anyway, saying that, I still am a little bit fussy on things. So fingers crossed, once I've finished it, it'd be better than I expect. I'm expecting a few little flaws, you can't help that in a space like I'm working in. The same if anyone sprays the vehicle outside, you cannot help it. But we're gonna go for the best finish as possible. Um, once it's all painted, hardened off, we're going to compound it, polish it. See if we can get a nice glossy finish on it. Um, it hasn't come out too bad. Bearing in mind, this is black gloss military paint. So it's very hard wearing, a bit like enamel. Anyway, I've got to get on with it and I'll be back to you soon. Hi, uh, we're quite high up today. Um, what I'm doing is, I'm keying off the top of, or some of the top of the bus. Let's have a look, let's show you. Right, so we're wet sanding. Now it's had its first coat. The roof. So let's dry off. So what it's doing is it's moving that orange peel effect. They call it orange peel because it looks like orange peel. We're wet sanding with a bit of water and a bit of 800 grit, wet and dry. It's still very boring. <laughs> Just want to show you actually, I'm doing it myself. And as I said earlier, I am no professional. I've sprayed the old pan or two. But I've never done anything this big. And to be honest with you, if I had any sense, I'd have started off with a car or something and painted that first. 
and I'm probably just repeating myself because it is the next day. Hi everybody and welcome back. Some very exciting stuff. So this bus is now finished and has been fully painted. Um, so two coats, looking quite good. We've got a little dodgy spot at the moment, which is a couple of runs just there. And that was where the airline and the spray gun got caught on the ladder as I was spraying it. And I didn't let go of the trigger in time. But yeah, so it's looking really good. It's been a learning curve. And as I say, you've got to try these things. But it's come out okay. It, we do need to get the buffing machine on it and get rid of the orange, some of the orange peel uh, feel, but it can't be helped. Like the conditions, we're not in a spray booth. And unfortunately, uh, as a working farm, it's quite dusty here at times as well. Anyway, hope you like what you see. And now we can get on with the build and put it all back together again. Right, okay, thanks everybody, and hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that's my little bit of painting on this bus, and once it's finished, I'm sure it's going to look absolutely amazing. Hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, most, most of all, staying really happy. Bye for now. Bye.